Hey YouTubers, it's that van guy again with another monthly diecast club meet buy sell trade haul video. Uh, we have a local Facebook based group and we have uh, a monthly meet where it's like a buy sell trade event every month and a lot of guys that are in the club they grab different popular things that they find in stores and then they bring them to the meet and trade them or sell them uh, and I usually find a bunch of stu cool stuff at the meet so uh, just finalized trades that we did we did maybe earlier in the month and then we uh, you know do the exchange at the meet or um, you know somebody finds something in store they hold it for me and then uh, bring it to the meet and then I buy it there or I buy it via PayPal uh, beforehand so lots of cool stuff um, some stuff that we aren't going to be opening that are uh, carded doubles uh, this one here I already have uh, version A and version B uh, loose but I wanted uh, a carded version as well and this one was uh, uh, available carded at the club meet uh, from my buddy Crazy Todd and uh, gave me a good deal on it so I picked that up so we'll set that one aside uh, I also I got this one um, this one as well at the club meet uh, I'm not exactly sure from who, can't remember, but got this one carded. I also have version A and version B loose of this uh, Ford Boogie Van from 2018, but I did want to get uh, a carded version of both, so now I have that. And then I also have a loose version already of this... Uh, Car Culture, Hot Wheels, Team Transport, uh, Snake, and Mongoose, uh, Hauler, Drag Car Set, Funny Car Set. So this is the 72 Plymouth Cuda Funny Car Retro Rig, and it just has really awesome uh, card art. Just look at the artwork on that. It's just so awesome. It's like a poster. Uh, really detailed, really awesome. So I really wanted to get a pair carded to keep on the card because it's got such awesome artwork on it. So I already have one. You've probably seen in a previous video. I have one, uh, a red one and a yellow one, both loose that I opened up in a previous uh, weekly uh, buy sell or a weekly uh, haul video. So uh, check that out. But this one's going to stay carded. Uh, speaking of cards, uh, I got this from. Uh, my buddy John Corone uh, in our local club. Uh, it's kind of cool. It's just um, a 2019 Super Chromes card, but it's like totally perfect, and there's not even any like glue residue or anything on the card. I'm not exactly sure how he came upon this. If it just he picked one of these up, and the uh, glue was just like not on there, and the and the blister came off, but. It's like a perfectly mint card, and there's like no, it's not torn or anything, and there's like really no glue residue. So he grabbed it for me, and and uh, he just gave it to me for free. He's like, I know you're a van guy, so maybe you want to just hang this card up since it's like so mint. So cool to get that. Uh, we'll take a closer look at this one. This is uh, a custom that was made for me. Uh, by a guy in our club, one of the co-founders of our Facebook-based club, uh, Josh Champo. He uh, does a lot of different customs, and he made me this Golf livery Dodge van with the custom wheels and custom paint and everything. So we'll take a closer look at that, but we'll wait till the end for that. Um, we'll take another look at some of... We'll get this loose stuff out of the way. Uh, this is... Um, I got a couple loose ones from uh, my buddy Dave in our local club. He had some loose ones for sale there. And uh, I have uh, quite a few of these power panels, but I did not have this paint scheme. So I think it was only like a buck or something like that, or a buck fifty, two bucks, something like that. 
uh, and seems to be in pretty much mint condition. So kind of a cool uh, deco on it. And it's one I didn't have. So, you know, when you see one you don't have and it's cheap, that's the time to jump on it. Here's another one. This is uh, the Hot Wheels Durango. <clears throat> no, Fandango. I'm sorry. Sometimes I call it Durango. It's Fandango. This is a Hot Wheels Fandango casting, and I don't believe I have this uh, this uh, paint scheme or deco either, this version. I've got maybe 10 or 12 of these, but I don't think I have this one. I'm not sure, you know, this one is played with condition. I mean, it's in pretty nice condition, but, you know, it's loose, and uh, I'm not sure if that's the way this particular one came, if you guys know. I'm wondering about the wheels. The front wheel has, like, the gold trim and this one is black and i'm not sure if just the gold trim has flaked off the wheel but it's like that on the other side too uh it looks like there might be a little bit of gold left on the wheel so maybe it did flake off but it's kind of odd that it's in the front and not in the back so if you guys know uh paul Wooten, he probably knows i think he collects these i'm not sure uh but if anybody knows uh let me know in the comments down below Okay, we got some more uh, cool stuff. I believe we're opening all this stuff. Uh, a couple more from my buddy Crazy Todd. Uh, he had these, found this for me at my local Meyer store. Uh, and he grabbed them for me because he knows that I'm a van guy. And uh, these are the new Greenlight Norman Rockwell Series 1. And uh, I'm not a huge VW guy. I do like... I do have quite a few VWs, but I don't definitely don't have to own them all. But I just thought this one was cool because it said toy shop on it. So it's kind of like a toy van with toy livery on it. So I just thought it was kind of cool. It's a panel. I prefer the panels over the ones with all the windows in. So let's cut this one open. And we'll take a closer look on the turntable. Closer look at it. Okay. Alright, here we are. Norman's Toy Shop. Genuine handcrafted toys. It says Norman's on the back. Toys from one dollar. New toys, classic toys, antique restoration. Pretty cool piece. I think it's got uh, rubber wheels. There's a number on the bottom if you care about that. Looks like it might be a plastic base. Yep, skinny rubber wheels. Pretty cool. Pretty neat, so glad to have that one. Add that to the collection. Then we got, there's a 77 Dodge B100 van. Definitely gotta get that, because I own a 77 Dodge van. So, I'm a big collector of these, although uh, I think a lot of the green lights have, um, they have a window in the back, I believe. Uh, let's see if they... You know, it's still there. It's kind of like indented into the body. Um, and then they just kind of paint over the top sometimes. And I'm not really a fan of that. I prefer the Johnny Lightning uh, 77 Dodge Van Casting over the green light. Because they don't like the windows they put in it. I don't like it. It's got this big bay window on the back on the green light version. And it also has like a porthole window and a, a vertical narrow window in the back. But they usually just paint right over the top of that. So if you look at it in the light, you can still see the outline of where the window would be in the body. And uh, I just prefer no windows in my vans. They're just usually 
cooler with no windows. There's more room for custom graphics, you know, murals and crazy 70s stripes and whatnot. So I just prefer uh, the vans without the windows, but still a 77 Dodge van, still would like to collect them all, so I had to get it. And this one's brand new, just hit, hitting the stores. So there's that one, Mobile Bakery van. Okay, so glad to have that one. And then I found a couple uh, older Hot Wheels Drag Strip Demons, which they're super hot right now. Um, everyone's waiting for that new Drag Strip Demon set to come out and hit stores. Starting to hit stores. I know some people that have pre ordered them and they got their pre orders already. So this is the Snake Prudhomme's Black Snake Cuda. Let's crack it open. The cards kind of, these cards are a little bit, you know, maybe water damaged or curvy. If you want to take a quick look at the back, collect all drag strip demons, including. And here's the different ones. All the different sponsorships. You can pause that if you want to read it. All right, let's take a look at the car here. Another, uh, Funny car with the uh, the little thing on underneath uh, where you can prop open and look at the uh, the chassis. Very similar to the the new uh, Team Transports yellow version, but this is the black one. Black Snake Cuda. It's got the skinny wheels in front and the big uh, drag slicks in the back. Skinny wheels in the front. So, pretty cool piece. Glad to add that one to the collection. And then there's another uh, drag strip demons here. This is the uh, Roland Long's Hawaiian Charger. They call it the Blue Hawaiian. Another, uh, like Dodge Charger. This one's a Dodge Charger. Another Mopar, uh, Dragster Funny Car. Let's take a look at this one. Get out of the packaging. And take a closer look at it. Let's, uh, open it up a little. So you can see the chassis of the body. It's got the little plastic prop inside to hold the body up. It's got the real rubber tires. Skinnies on the front. Drag slicks on the back. Looks like it's uh, not sure exactly what year charger. Maybe a uh, 69 or... 68, 69, or 70, I'm not sure. I, I, if I had to guess, I'd say 69. I'm not sure if it says. Probably doesn't say because it is a funny car. I don't think it says on here. No, it doesn't. So, yeah, that's pretty cool piece. Close her up. So you can see what it looks like. Sitting low and closed. Another cool piece, glad to add that one. I have a bunch of these uh, Hot Wheels Drake Strip Demons and some Johnny Lightning uh, funny cars. Uh, did not have this one, so. And I got a really good deal. I got it uh, from uh, Josh Roche, I believe. I got a couple of these. I got a couple uh, uh, different things from him. Uh, this one here, I believe, is um, a trade, part of a trade from uh god i forget his first name his last name is schwab i think it's maybe robert i'm not really sure i can't remember right now i'm sure as soon as i end the video i'll remember his name uh but this one i believe i already had this one but uh you know this one's mint 
in the package. I think I'm going to hang on to this and see if anyone needs it in a trade. Because it is, you know, mint in on the card. So, since I have one that's in really nice shape, I think I'm going to hang on to this one and not open it. Um, I think he had this one for me. This is one I did not have. I have the blue version. There's two different Moon Eyes Anglia panel trucks. There's a blue, like a light blue metallic, and there's this yellow one. And I think the yellow one is a lot more cooler because it's Moon Eyes colors. And I did not have that one, so I'm really happy that he was able to uh, do a trade with me. And got me this one, the one I was missing. I uh, don't believe this one has an opening hood, and it looks like it might have a little package rub on top, but it's starting to scratch off a little, so I might be able to clean that up. Another uh, Inglia panel truck. Moon Eyes version. So, happy to add that one to the collection. That's one I didn't have. Moon Eyes Inglia panel truck. And these are all like a drag car. They have the little parachute pack on the back and the little wheelie bars out back. And most of these have uh, a separate hood that tips forward. So you can see the engine inside. But there are a few like this one that is just one solid piece where it does not open. Okay, we're getting down to the end here. Here's a 2012 new models. The uh, 78 Dodge Little Red Express truck. This is uh, was just a main line. Uh, I don't believe I have this uh, main line. So let's crack open to this. I think he, uh, I'm not sure if Mr. Schwab was the one that had this and traded to me or if uh, I found this on Josh O'Shea's table. It's hard to remember. It was uh, three, four days ago now. Take a look at that little Red Express. The only thing I don't like about it is the uh, the gray plastic for the uh, the side pipes or the exhaust stacks. That's a little bit. Kind of wish they were chrome. But still cool nevertheless. Metal body, plastic wheels. I believe it's a chrome plastic base. Alright, and last but not least, we got this uh, Star Lord Pop Culture Deco Delivery. And did not have this one. Here's the, the set it came from. And uh, I don't think, I, maybe I get that Dodge Airflow in the future, but uh, none of these other ones really interest me too much. I'm not into the bread box, I'm not into collecting school buses. I just started collecting this Deco delivery. Uh, so, did not have this one. I got a, got a really good deal on it. I think it might have been another trade for Mr. Schwab. Like I said, I'm trying to remember what exactly what I traded for and who I got everything from sometimes uh, isn't the easiest but this is a cool one Star Lord Deco Delivery glad to add that one to the collection so that's it for this uh, this month's buy sell trade haul video I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video if you uh, like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and also check out my Facebook page, That Van Guy. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you. Have a great day. Sorry, guys. I almost forgot. I was going to show you that uh, custom that my buddy Josh Champo made for me. Uh, almost forgot about that. So let's take a close look at that one. Really cool piece that he handmade. Uh, started with a metal body. Uh, 77 custom 77 Dodge van stripped it repainted it uh, put the uh, Gulf colors the 
the light blue and orange. Put some stripes on it for me. A golf livery. Uh, some golf dec decals. And then put some uh, bigger custom wheels on it with rubber tires. So, really cool piece. Uh, thanks a lot, buddy. Appreciate it. Let's take a closer look. Just the regular interior. Nice fat wheels on it. Nice uh, meat. Some cool wheels. Really love those wheels. Those are like hot rod wheels. And I love the stance, how it's like lowered. Like it's just dropped right in the ground like it's on air ride or something. So a really cool piece. Really glad to have that one. I appreciate it, buddy. Thanks so much for making it, that custom for me. Uh, just gave it to me for free. And just gave it to me as a surprise. So really awesome. Thanks so much, buddy. Uh, I think it was just appreciation for, you know, helping run the Facebook page for our local group and also uh, our monthly meet. So thanks so much, buddy. I really appreciate it. It looks awesome. Really proud to add it to the collection. So, all right, guys, that's it. Have a good one.